this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Amazon Fire HD 8 2017 edition tablet running Fire OS 5.4. As you can see, we sort of got the stock Fire OS app launcher. It's designed to run applications downloaded from the Amazon App Store, but it is possible to install the Google Play Store to replace the, well, supplement the, the home screen launcher and make a bunch of other changes without rooting the device or making any uh, real changes uh, to the underlying operating system. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go into your settings, scroll down until you find security, enable installation of apps from unknown sources, and make sure that you know what you're doing at this point, because once you do that, you do run the risk of installing applications that can more easily harm your device. And then you're going to want to download a couple of different uh, tools. So you can go to the XDA Developers Forum and check out the Amazon Fire section. And in the general section, you'll find a couple of pretty nifty tools. One is called Launcher Hijack Version 2, and you'll find the download link in that thread. And the other is a series of applications uh, that are basically just your Google Play services and enablers, uh, the Google Account Manager, Services Framework, Play Services, and the Play Store. And once you've downloaded these, and you can find all the links in the description to this video or at lilliputing.com, uh, you just go ahead and install them and reboot the tablet. So I'm going to sort of take this one at a time. Uh, one thing that you will probably need either uh, you can download all of those applications using the Silk browser and install them one at a time. If not, you're going to want to install some sort of uh, file browser, which is what I've done here just so I can sort of go through things in order. Um, first thing I'm going to do is actually install Launcher Hijack because I can do that with, without rebooting and show you how it works. I've already installed a third-party launcher, which is the Nova launcher. This opens up a sort of standard Android-style app launcher. The problem is when I hit the home button, it takes me back to uh, to the stock Fire OS launcher. But if I install Launcher Hijack, it'll allow me to press the home button. And for a split second, you'll see that stock version. But afterwards, you'll see Nova. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this. It'll detect which third-party launchers I have installed, and let me select one. And then there's one more step. I have to go back into Settings, scroll down to Accessibility, and scroll down to the bottom to this to Detect Home button press, and turn that on. And here we go. We've got the Nova launcher. When I press the Home button, you'll see this one briefly, and then it switches to Nova launcher again. So that's how uh, the hijack application works. Let's go back to Solid Explorer. And now in the order that they're listed in that XDA developers forum thread, you're going to want to install these four Google uh, applications. So first, one, the account manager, done. Next, we've got Google Services Framework, done. Play Services, this file is the largest of the bunch and takes a little bit longer to install. Done. And then finally, the Play Store. Now, once this is done before you can actually use them, you're going to need to reboot the tablet. So I'll do that, start up a video again, and show you sort of the first launch. And then, of course, you need to log in with your Google uh, credentials in order to actually access the Play Store. But once all of that's done, you get sort of the best of both worlds. You can treat this like an Android tablet and a Fire tablet. You can choose whether you want to stick with this um, the stock launcher or go with something like Nova or another third-party launcher. So let's go ahead and reboot by pressing and holding. Actually, before I do that, I should probably pause the video. Uh, but then you're going to press and hold the power button and say that you want to shut down and then let it restart. All right, having rebooted the device, you can see here we're again back at the Nova launcher. And we have the Play Store installed on the tablet. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now, it's worth noting that the uh, instructions for installing all of this do involve uh, loading an older version 
of Google Play services and the Play Store and so forth. Um, so they'll all update automatically in the background. But you can see here, we do have the Play Store. It's working and it's asking me to log in. Um, I guess the next step is I'll go ahead and do that. So let me pause the video again while I enter my credentials and then we'll be back to, uh, to demonstrate how it works. And now we're logged in and you can see that the Play Store has updated in the background. It's got a different logo over here. And when I open it, I have access to uh, the Google Play Store. So I can see apps that I've got installed on this device that are available in the Play Store. If there are updates available, it'll let me update them through the Play Store instead of from the Amazon App Store. And then access to the library of applications that I've installed on other devices. So if you use Android with Google Play services or Google Play Store on your phone, now you have access to all of that here, including subscriptions, in-app purchases, and the like. Uh, you can install third-party apps pretty easily, including those that aren't available from the uh, Amazon App Store. So for instance, in addition to using the Kindle app for reading eBooks, I can now use Nook as well. So uh, it sort of turns the Fire tablet into an Amazon and Barnes & Noble capable device. So this is what it looks like when it's downloading and installing. And everything seems to work, uh, work pretty well, at least with Fire OS 5.4 running on the Fire HD 8 2017 edition. Same steps should work on the Fire 7 2017 edition, also running Fire OS 5.4. Um, as of the time that I'm recording this video on July 12th, 2017, there is no way to root either of those devices, but you don't need to root them in order to, uh, to install the Play Store and turn them into these sort of multi-function devices. So you kind of get the best of both worlds here. You have uh, all of the features that come with an Amazon tablet, as well as support for the Play Store and ability to run these third-party applications, and even to change the app launcher. Now, if you decide you want to go back to the standard uh, launcher, there's a couple of things you could do. You could go back into uh, accessibility and turn off detection, and now it just takes us back here or you could tap and hold and uninstall launcher hijack altogether. If you wanted to, you could also try out some other third-party uh, home screen applications. Just search the Google Play Store for launchers and see what comes up. And a lot of them should work with Hijack as well. You just open the app again, choose which one you want to set as your default, and you're good to go. So that is Google Play Services, Google Play Store, replacing the home screen, and uh, generally making Amazon's Fire HD 8 a little bit more like a standard Android tablet while still retaining all the features that come with an Amazon tablet. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.